Welcome. This video covers how to use the import wizard to read raw data into a SAS dataset. We just learned the difference between raw data and a SAS dataset. We also learned where SAS stores a SAS dataset in a library. Now that we have that down, we can now look at reading in our first dataset. The first kind of data that we're going to read in is a basic Excel dataset. So an Excel dataset is going to have an extension of .xls or .xlsx, depending on which version of Excel it is. We're going to start with a nice, easy-to-read-in file that has sort of no weirdness to it, so it's just a nice, easy-to-read-in file called Forest Fires. And this Forest, Fire, um, forest Fires dataset gives information about forest fire burns in Portugal. If you're interested in this dataset and want to learn more about it, you can go to the UCI Machine Learning Repository um, where we found this data, and they'll have more information about it there. First, we're going to learn how to use this proc import wizard. So we're going to use a menu-driven method to read in this data set. Of course, we want to stay away from menu-driven methods, generally speaking. But um, this menu-driven method will produce program uh, code for us that we can copy and paste into our program. So this is going to be our starter to understand exactly how we might use proc import to bring data in. Now, we can only read in data from this import wizard um, using data that is either in our shared folder or that you have uploaded to one of your folders on SAS On Demand. So the first step is either to upload your own data using the button that's available there in the top left, or you can access data that we have in the shared folder. Once you uh, know where the data is located in the folders, and you click on New Data Import up here, you then can just navigate to that file and click Select File. Pretty easy. What that's going to do is allow you to then customize how exactly SAS is going to read that data in. So for instance, um, we are going to go into this folder, this module one folder, and there is a forestfires.xlsx file in there, and that's what we're going to read in. SAS is automatically going to create code that again we can copy and paste into our program. So when you hit open, it's going to bring up uh, a new window on the right that has three tabs on it. It's going to have settings, code results, and split. So um, settings allows you to create, uh, change the auto-created import settings um, using menus. Code and results will show you um, the code itself and allow you to change that yourself. And then split shows um, both things. So it's going to allow you to change from the menus and see how that changes the code. But the data, the program that this um, import wizard actually produces is given here. So it uses a file name statement to start with. So this is very similar to a libname statement. We saw a libname statement was a standalone statement that created a library. A file name statement is a standalone statement that creates a reference to a file. So for instance, here, um, we are creating a, an internal reference called ref file. That's the default that SAS does. So this is going to be the reference to the path that you see over here on the right. So this is just going to be a shorthand way to access that path later on. Then it creates a proc import step. And the first part of the proc import step is the proc import statement. So this is a statement that is now broken over three lines. But notice that there is only one semicolon here. So this is all one statement. We often break um, our code down across lines to make it more readable. So again, this is one statement, the proc import statement. And within here, we're telling it which data file we want to read in. And we're using the reference that was defined earlier. So essentially, this ref file is, again, just referencing what's in between these quotes. So we could just put that whole quoted thing, that whole quoted string down there, and that would be fine. This is just a shorthand way of referencing it. The DBMS stands for Database Management System. And this is saying, what type of file is this? SAS automatically determines that based off of the file extension. So it's saying that this is a newer version of an Excel file. And then it says, well, where do I want to output this data, right? We're trying to read raw data into SAS. So we're creating a SAS data set. SAS data sets get stored in SAS libraries. By default, this puts the data set that we're creating in the work library in a data set called import or import one or import two, depending on how many data sets you've imported. So this is using a two level name to access the work library, which is perfectly reasonable, but we're still going to lose this data whenever we close SAS because it's going into the um, work library. So that ends our proc import statement. And then we have another statement on proc import on this proc import step. We're going to use the get name statement to say that we want to get the names of the variables from the file. So what that basically says is the is, 
is that the first row of my data, of my raw data file, represents the variable names. We end our proc import step with a run statement. So again, this is the code that is automatically created when we go through the proc import wizard. And so that's great. It's a nice, easy way to read in data for our first raw data set. So what we'll do now is jump into SAS and we'll do this live. All right, here we are in SAS. Let's go ahead and create a new program. And in this program, of course, we want to um, have a library set up, a permanent library that we're making. So I'll go over here to my snippets and I'll pull in that library snippet. So this will create our NCSU library. And, um, you know, we want a header here as well. So let's go ahead and put that in. So this is the import wizard and author as well. Always good to put in. And that'll create our header. Now, we want to run this code so that we have access to this library when we go to do the proc import wizard. So I'm going to run that. So that works success successfully. Again, the numbers that you have here are going to be different than the numbers I have, so you need to make sure that you get those correct. And now we're going to go up here to use the menu driven method. So we're going to use new import data. So this is going to open the proc import wizard. And we can either drag and drop our files from over here on the left. So if I go in to our shared folder for module one, there is the forestfires.xlsx file here. I could drag it and drop it over here. That's one way to do. Or what I could do alternatively is select the file and navigate through the menus that way. Again, if you wanted to read in data that was not in our shared folder here, you would have to come up here and upload a file. So there's this button that allows you to upload something and you can upload a file from your computer and place it into your created folder. You do not have right access to this, only I have right access to this, so you'd have to put it in a folder that you created somewhere or just in your main folder. Okay, so we want this forest fires data set, plop it in there. Again, this brings up this three tabbed area. And so this is the split version. So this allows me to see um, how it's being read in and change things um, using menus. And then it also gives me the code that's being created down here below. If you just want to look at the settings and manipulate it that way, you can do it there. If you just want to look at the code and manipulate it that way, you can do it there. But of course, the split gives you both. So as this is an Excel data set that we're reading in, we could possibly read in a sheet that is not the first sheet. So you know, across Excel data sets on the bottom, um, there are different sheets that you could have. By default, SAS is going to read the first sheet. You can specify which sheet to read in using this part here. And then you can change where this data set gets saved. So right now it's being saved in the work library in a data set called import. And so if I, if I scroll on down here, right, I see that this is a work.import is where this is being saved. So if I want to change that, I can certainly do that. I can net use these menus to navigate exactly where I'd want to save it. So now I'm going to save it in the NCSU library. It's a data set called import. Maybe that's not ideal. So I go down here, I change my data set name to my fires, except it doesn't let you type down here. I think if you go into code and results, it lets you type. Let's see. No, okay, so you can't type in here. You have to do this through the menu driven method. Sorry, I don't use this that often. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and change this to my fires. Okay, so that's defining the two level name that's going that's going that this is going to be read into. All right, and we have get names equal yes, so the first row of this data does correspond to the column names. So what I could do is I could copy this um, section of code and I could just plop it over into my program, or I could just hit run from here. I personally like to put it into my program and run it from here. So I'm gonna copy this or highlight all of that. I've already actually run the lib name statement, so I don't need to do that again. So I'll just highlight this bit and run that. So um, we check our log always after we run code. We see here all blue, so that's good. We would wanna check the original data, make sure that there were about 517 rows and make sure that there were about 13 variables. But looks like things are, are fine here. There's no results because we just read in data. So it just has an output data tab. And you can see, oh, look, this is great. This has all of my variables and my observations as well. So this all looks like it read in correctly. Okay, so what we could do now is read in the same data, but let's read it into a temporary library. So 
So I could create that exact same business. In fact, I don't even need the file name statement again because I still have that reference up here, so I don't need to redefine it. Um, I'm just going to change this to my fires now. And by doing that, using a one level name, this is automatically going to put this in the work library. So if I run that, again, I check my log, no issues. But if I go down to my library, I'll now see that in my work library as well. I have my temporary data set from before because I haven't closed SAS. But if I go up to NCSU, I also have the my fires data set. And this one is not going to be erased when I close SAS. So again, this is a very basic way that you can read in data using the import wizard. I'll go ahead and save this. To recap, right, we are still going to use programmatic methods, but this import wizard gives us a nice way to automatically generate that program. This is going to allow us to make everything reproducible. What we'll do next is learn how to deal with this proc import code without the wizard.